Hi folks, here we are again in our little kitchen and we'd like to bring to you something very tasty and it's a dessert. It's done in the slow cooker. Rice pudding. Homemade rice pudding, folks. Yum, yum. Right, well this one's nice and easy. There's not many ingredients in this one, is there, That's baby? Nice simple. So let's have a little look at the ingredients first, folks. Here are the ingredients for our rice pudding slow cooker recipe. Two and a half pints or 1,400 milliliters of milk. Seven ounces or 200 grams of pudding rice. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams of sugar. 0.8 ounces or 25 grams of unsalted butter. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. One teaspoon of nutmeg. Okay, baby, what's the first thing we do here then? We're just gonna grease the bottom and the outside with butter with this. Um, right, and what's that for? Just in case it sticks? It sticks, yeah. Right, so what's next, baby? Literally pour everything in. Even that bit of butter will be used and is going into the rice. Right, is that unsalted butter? Yes. Right, okay, in we go then. So we've got an eight, eight and a half litre one, this I think, this on one, Cheryl. And you're just going to stick it on low and in with our two and a half pints of milk. Now, you can put cream in this. Some yeah. people do put cream in. It's up to you if you want to put a little bit of cream in. But Sharon assures me that it will thicken up lovely anyway. And then we're going to add the rice. So this is actual rice. This is, this pudding, is a, rice. pudding rice. This is not long grain rice or anything. In with the sugar. Sugar. And now for the old uh, flavourings. Vanilla extract. So how much of that are we putting in? Just a good dollop. A splosh. Good splosh. Splish, splash, splosh. In with a splosh of that. In with our butter. I mean, that will richen it up anyway, wouldn't yeah. it? The butter. And then nutmeg. Right, again. Or cinnamon. What's that? About a teaspoon. Good sprinkling. Good, good, good heavy sprinkling. Yeah, if you don't like it, don't put it in. Yeah, it's up to you. So that is literally it, folks. As you can see there, this is going to be on for how long? Good four hours. Right, so will you turn it and stir it every now and again? I will always, I always stir things when they go in the slow cooker. Right, so just keep an eye on it, folks, and just let it do its thing and just stir it every now and again. So there's no other thickening agent in there whatsoever? No, if when it gets to the end, I will tell you, when you lift the lid off, it's still quite runny. Leave the lid off and it will thicken up with the lid off. Right. Right, so basically that's it. We've got a lot of spare times on our hand. It's hard, isn't it, rice pudding? God, so simple, isn't it, folks, yeah. really? I know you can buy it out of a tin, but sometimes homemade is better and you can add your own flavourings as well. As I say, you've put the uh, vanilla extract in there. Some people might not want to do that. If you don't like nutmeg, don't put the nutmeg in, I it's that simple. Think some people actually can put a bit of satanas in there, you can do that as well if you like fruits in it. Yeah. But when you do it yourself, you can have it as thick or as runny as you like. Yeah. It's to your taste. So when it's cooked, you take that lid off. And if you think, oh, the rice is cooked, it's still a bit runny, leave the lid off for about half hour or so and it will thicken up. Right, so we'll see you in a few hours, folks. Right, folks, it's four and a half hours later now and she stirred it four or five times. Yeah, every time I sort of walk by it. She just done a little bit of a stir, and for the last 10 to 15 minutes, she took the lid off of it and just left it. Let's have a look at it. You remember how it looked first of all, how runny and thin it was? Let's have a look at it now. Oh, look at that, folks. That looks absolutely superb. Not stuck no, not stuck at all. I like going around the edge, yeah, rim it. Go around the edge of it. That's it, go on, get all that stickiness off the edges there. Right, we're gonna dish a portion up, folks. We've gotta give this a test. Look at that. <laughs> look at how thick that is, folks, look. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's superb. Okay, let's have a little look, baby. Just take a look at that, folks. How creamy does that look? So she was right, folks. You didn't need to add cream. Can I just have a smell? It does, it smells lovely. Oh, that nutmeg. Takes me back to being a little girl, Mum, doing Sunday oh. dinner, then the milky pudding comes out. Go on, lovely. baby, in you go. You have a little go first, see what you think of it. I know, it's amazing. It's one of Take your time favorites. with it, take your time, savour it. I love it. Look at the smile on her face, folks. I thought only I'd put that smile on her face. You can't beat a milky pudding. It's cold and wet outside. There's nothing better. Well, can I have a go? Well, folks? Only a little bit, because I'll have this I've, bowl. I've got to go in, folks. I've got to go in. Take it easy. I'm going to shout. I'm going to save every minute. And I like to go around the edge, because when you put it in a bowl, it cools off around the edge first. So look at me. Look. Watch. I'm scooping from the outside. Look. Just shove it in your mouth. No, 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 no. no. You can't. Shao, you can't just shove things in your mouth willy, willy nilly. I'm going in, folks. Oh, God. 
Oh, Darren. It's amazing, isn't it? That is good. I'll tell you what, folks. You know, don't you? That is better than any canned rice pudding that I've ever tasted. The creaminess of it. Bearing in mind we didn't put no cream in it, we put milk in it. That is a showstopper, Sharon. Oh, it's amazing. You can't beat it. I feel sorry for you kids if you don't get this in school because you're missing out. Well, folks, you must try that. It's only on low, four to five hours, just ticking along. And as she walked past it now and again, she just give it a stir. The last 10 to 15 minutes, she took the lid off just to allow it to thicken up like that. Look, 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 look. I was going to tip it upside down over here, but I don't think no, I'll do that. do that now. Give that a go, folks. You'll be utterly surprised. And if you like, my dad always used to put a bit of jam in it as well. A bit of jam well. in it as well, yeah. It. Dollop the jam in the middle. My dad used to do that as well. And then I used to stir it in and make it go red, Sharon. Yeah, I remember doing that, but I prefer it just like that. Give it a go, folks. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, we're going to leave it there now because I've got a big bolt to finish off and she's only got a little bolt to finish off. I thought it was the other way around. So we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to have a little binge watch of our other videos. This is a slow cooker one from heaven, I must tell you. If you're going to do it, do it in your slow yeah, cooker. Start watching. Fantastic. Make this, then binge watch us. And by the time you've done most of ours, your rice pudding will be ready. Come on then, baby, let's go. You, give it, you have that one. I'm going to take this one. I'll see you later, folks. Till then, bye for now. Bye.